What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to a whiff of this. This is where I check out new and old fragrances. I unbox them, give my first impressions, as well as just give a full review of what I really think on the fragrances. So today we're gonna be checking out none other than Boss Bottled Tonic. I love the bottle, I love the simplicity of this one, and I love the color of this one. My favorite color is blue. That's the bottle. It's just so simple, very elegant, very nice bottle. Looks like the ocean, literally like just gives you that nice island clear vibe let me go ahead and let you all the notes on this one really quick i will go over the price it usually does run about 83 dollars retail but you can get it for sure in the 55 60 dollar price range it was released in 2017 the notes in this in the top notes are going to be grapefruit bitter orange lemon and apple and when i tell you i smell every one of those things in the opening like i smell grapefruit for sure on my skin the most and i also smell the apple and like a little bit of that orange I don't get too much lemon, but I definitely get the orange and apple and the grapefruit vibes. In the heart notes, we're going to have ginger, and then in the base, we're going to have vetiver. So that's going to give that nice woody tone when it dries down. The longevity on this is definitely like 8 plus, 8 to 10 hours for sure. If you spray this on your skin, you don't really need to, or if you spray this on clothes, you really don't need to spray it anymore. It's going to stay there pretty much the whole day. Uh, if you spray this on skin, you may have to spray it one more time around like the seven hour mark, but that's if you're like working out or something in a warehouse. Other than that, it's going to stay on your skin. And this is one of those fragrances as well when the opening is just so good, but once it dries down, all of a sudden, that's when you start getting compliments. It's so interesting to me how like it'll be hours later when I go nose blind to the fragrances, that's when you get the compliment. It's so weird. This for sure can be a unisex fragrance, even though it is for men. Almost all fragrances are going to be marketed towards men. I mean, they are there are a lot of unisex fragrances out there, but this definitely could be unisex. I haven't ever seen anyone else that I know buy this or wear this. Um, it is one of those fragrances that you probably could blind buy and pretty much like it just because of how fresh it is. It's this nice, fresh aquatic vibe, and it just smells really good to me. Like, I'm really glad that I bought this one when I did. It's definitely worth the money. Now, I did used to have the Boss Bottled Intense by Hugo. Uh, that one I did end up getting rid of. I actually sold it to someone else I knew because that was the Eau de Parfum. This is the Eau de Toilet 3.4 mil. I'm sorry, 3.3 mil. 3.3 milliliter. The one that I had, the Intense version, was Eau de Parfum, and I meant to buy the Eau de Toilet uh, because the Eau de Toilet isn't as soft. It's more like robust and just stronger. Um, then the Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Parfum lasts longer, but the Eau de Toilette was the one that I wanted. So I haven't bought the Eau de Toilette yet. I may still buy it in the future. Remember to enable push notifications so you can stay up to date as soon as I release a video. And until next time, you guys, peace out.